What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com, back with another aviation facts video, this time all about winglets. These little things right here on the ends of the wings, they're called winglets. Their main job is to reduce what are called wingtip vortices. These induce drag on the aircraft and over the lifetime of the aircraft can produce a bigger fuel bill. So I'll talk about the different types of winglets out there, who use the different types of winglets and how it helps an aircraft specifically. And to know how it helps an aircraft, we need to kind of go back in time and look at a wing that doesn't have a wingtip. So we'll actually use the vertical stabilizer back here as an example for this. So let's pretend this vertical stabilizer here is the actual the wing itself. So what it has is you have the wing here and under it you have a lot of high pressure air. This helps the aircraft fly. You need more high pressure air under the wing to counteract the low pressure air above the wing. Now with all of this lift that's creating it's pushing up on the wing and it gets pushed out to the tip of the wing and what it does is it actually tries to curl back onto itself into that low pressure air and what it does is actually starts beating down on the wing itself and this air is pushing down on the wing, adding drag, and reducing the lift that the wing could be producing because it has this air that is beating down on the bottom of this wing. And that is what's called a wingtip vortice. It actually looks like a tornado coming back off the wing. You'll see many pictures online and it look just like that. It's that air that beats down on the wing. So what winglets do is they move that wingtip vortice to a smaller surface area and changes how it uh, induces that drag. So now you have the air which is coming up from under the wing is being forced up this winglet and is coming back and pushing to the side of the winglet instead of pushing down on the wing, which is reducing the drag that is associated with these wing tipped vortices. And they help over time with fuel efficiency as well as keeping the aircraft having a better lift coefficient, as I'll call it, uh, that you can have with a wing. Now, this is an older type of winglet that are found uh, pretty much on the 737-800s that haven't been modified with it yet. The newer ones actually have a split winglet. Sometimes it's called a split shimitar winglet. And what it does is it has a winglet that comes up just like normal, but it also has one that goes down like normal as well. And it does that to further reduce the drag on the wings. So you have one coming up and it's swooped back a little bit more and what it's doing is this big swoop that comes back is reducing the drag even more because it's giving an even smaller area for that wingtip vortice to hit and it's spreading it out by having the split winglets. Now uh, Airbus has something called wing fences which are very small and seem to work well for them because they have a different wing layer, uh, layout. Their wing layout is a larger wing layout with a more surface area whereas Boeing has their wings having a little bit less of a surface area and having more flex to them whereas Airbus has a bigger thicker sturdier wing which produces more drag and doesn't need uh, as much of a wing lit than in any other aircrafts but you'll f actually see some aircraft which don't even have winglets at all and those are aircraft that actually have raked wingtips. So the wingtips come straight back rather than having a vertical winglet. This is uh, more fuel efficient for aircraft that go longer distances. This provides it to cut a little bit better through the air. It also reduces that wingtip vortice, but it's proven to be just a tiny bit better when it comes to longer range aircraft than something like a 737, which doesn't need to go as long of a distance as let's say a 777 has to. Now you will see many different varieties of wingtips out there that will vary on many different aircraft. It's actually great for identifying them, but they all come back to the same goal, and that is to reduce the drag where possible and increase fuel efficiency. And everybody has their own take on that. This is Boeing's take on that. So let me know if you have any more aviation questions in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in our next video.